Hi everyone and welcome to Theme Park Worldwide where it's time for a bit of a bonus vlog from our trip here to Germany. We're in the car and we're queuing up to make our way in to Serengeti Park for our first visit. I'm so excited, we've been given a map. We're going to be going on like a bus through the safari and then checking out everything else that this park has to offer. Yeah, I didn't fancy taking this lovely oh, no. Jeep hire car through the safari, you never know, I don't want to pay any damages. No, definitely um, so yeah, we thought we'll pay that little bit extra where you can actually go on the bus that takes us through. So yeah, looking forward to it. Serengeti Park actually opened back in 1974 and it was founded um, by the same people that actually founded Woburn Safari Park back in the UK, which I find That's really quite interesting. interesting to know. Uh, you've got the safari here, but you've also got quite a large amusement area with lots of different rides. I believe they're saying there's up to 40 rides and attractions. There's they've a got lot. some boat rides, like a special effects tour, they've got some shows here. Um, lots going on, which I'm really looking forward to seeing. Uh, also, whilst we were queuing here in the car, uh, all the characters just kind of started walking down, meeting funny. and greeting, which I've never really seen before. But uh, come and join us. We're just going to uh, show our tickets now here at the booth. Um, and then instead of driving onto the safari, we'll get parked up and head onto one of the buses. Hi, <laughs> they are again, the characters coming down. Fantastic. Well, is he a lever? I think we've so, the yeah. lion just over there. Hello. <laughs> Brilliant, this is a queue in to get in. I tell you what, this place looks busy. It's open 10 o'clock through until 6. And yeah, I think we're going to be in for some busy queues when we get into the rides area. So we've just parked up in one of the free parking spaces that they've got here. And yeah, here's the entrance to the bus tour. Yeah, it looks like it's very popular. It's got a big queue line set up all the way down here. And yeah, it's just like quite a big place this does. I believe it's a 500 acre site. But yeah, it's a lovely day for it. Never done a German safari park oh, before, really have we? Forward to that. Yeah, and it looks like we're actually going on a double decker <laughs> bus. Like right, we're going on the number 71. There we go. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to this. You, you can buy a few snacks and stuff down here. As well before you get on by the looks of it and here we go yeah what a good setup <laughs> here's a look at the double decker coaches here serengeti park on the side and yeah it was 45 euros for an adult to come in and six euros 50 each for the bus so yeah let's go and get on here we go yeah it said on the website that it's about an hour's bus tour <laughs> we thought we'll sit downstairs so we're a bit closer to the animals Obviously, it's all going to be in German, but I think we can point out if there's a lion or a giraffe. <laughs> got his microphone. Oh, I love it. Going to be a random vlog, this. Lots of rides to get on as well. Straight on to the Serengeti Safari. It's really busy here today, but the good thing is about coming on the bus, you get to fast track past some of the people of us here, which is good. Da links im Vorbeiflug waren ganz kurz Giraffen zu sehen, das macht nichts, da kommen wir gleich noch ein bisschen dichter. So, jetzt müssen wir uns hier einmal so... I do like Safari Park, it's a lot better than zoos. Nice big open enclosures just here. What have we got to go over there, Charlotte? What are they? You're the animal expert. I'm not too sure. Oh, oh. So. Oh, look at that coming around. Kilimanjaro Safari is there. Oh, these are nice, just over here. Oh, I like these. Hello. Chilling out in the sunshine. And there are antelopes just over there. And when you can see that this tier links, this has only one horn. This is Freya. Freya is the last Einhorn on Earth. I do find it funny that we're on a double deck bus so, in Germany. That is a fine park, I love it. But yeah, it's got a bus lane down here at the side, so everyone's queuing there on the left, and we can kind of whiz past. It's not that wide, but yeah, it definitely saves time coming on this. We're in the Central Africa area now. Look at the size of him just over there. They're running what all the bars are on the windows. They've obviously been reinforced. Just in case. That's some lovely deers. Just over there in the shade. They look like horses to me. <laughs> wow, look at all those. Look at this down here, there you go, sit inside a big cage. <laughs> it must be like a VIP tour that they do here at Serengeti Park. It's a huge place, this. 
from the North Least American section now. Look at them. Bison, I think they are over there. Unser Tuchpulle. Und ein ausgewachsenes Bison Männchen wiegt ungefähr eine Tonne. Wow. <lacht> die Damen sind etwas zärtlicher. Die wiegen nur ungefähr 500 Kilo. We're in the Australia section now. Some sort of cow there by the looks of it. I am not an animal expert. So far, most of the animals have been on the other side. I've not really seen them that close. We're in the Asia area now. We're nice and close to these. Hello. Beautiful big areas for the animals though. Lots of shaded areas, lots of open areas too. And there's some great bits of theming around, like the Buddha that you can see there. Each different section has a big themed entrance as well. You can't really see them that well from on the bus. Well, I've not filmed them, but yeah, you kind of see them in the distance. And like the big entrances when you go into each section. So yeah, it's quite nicely themed. It does remind me quite a lot of the West Midland Safari Park that we have back in the UK. Camels. Kamel ist leider so ein bisschen die falsche Bezeichnung. Die Trampeltiere sind die zwei Übergaben. We've got some very dangerous dogs just over here too. I'm not going to lie, they do put me on edge. <laughs> Luckily, they're behind all the fences there too. Haben die eine extrem starke Magensäure. Oh, we're in with the lions just here now. Everything's on my side now, which is good. Very active. Oh, we're getting very close here. Now I'm glad that we've got these bars on the window. <laughs> oh, look at them. Wow. <laughs> very active. Bit of play fight in there. Really close to the lions. I've never seen lions moving about so much. Wow. Yeah, they've got huge areas here. Tigers just down here too. And off on the left, white tiger. Where is he? Right there. Well, when I'm like, when I'm links, that is the white, and on the other side, the brown. Enjoying some sunshine. Here we are, our tier pleader with his auto. Rico schleicht sich gerne from the left and the other side of the tier pleader. We've got a lot of lions here. The Serengeti Park. Right, that is the Malik. That is our chef. I'm sure he just said this one's the chef. That's the Bumblebee Malik's son. And the Brooks, that's the Frau. That's a bit of meat there. And when you look at this, more camels. It's like we're in Egypt now. Look at this. Tell you what, it's a long safari. We've been on here about 45, 50 minutes so far. Monkeys. What are them, Charlotte? The boons, are they? They're nice. I've got to say, the exhibits are really nicely presented here. I like how they put all the sand around here as well to make it look very natural. All the trees. 
und an der Scheibenwaschdüse hängt ein Schlauch dran. Und wenn man dann nuckelt, kommt was raus. Scheibenwaschflüssigkeit. Makes me really excited to see the rest. The Serengeti Park, the ride area. See what we've got down there. And more animals, some walkthrough areas, I believe. Enjoying it so far, Charlotte. Really enjoying it. I really like how big the areas are and the change that we've It's really nice at a funny moment there. Two monkeys are having a good time, weren't they, over there? Should we say? Everybody on the bus was laughing. It's quite funny. Flamingos! So colourful. Oh, we've got an ostrich at the front. <laughs> Hello, Ollie the ostrich. <laughs> there he is. See you later. Bye, Ollie. Ollie the ostrich. <laughs> Na gut, wir können sie auch gerne Breitmoll Nashorn nennen. So ein ausgewachsenes Nashorn, zweieinhalb bis dreieinhalb Tonnen schwer, bis zu 50 km/h schnell. Some beautiful landscaping here at Serengeti Park and yeah, lots of theming around, big waterfalls, lakes, very picturesque. Schreifen ist das Zebra ein schwarzes Tier mit weißen Streifen. The zebras. Weiß mit Schwarz, sagst du? Leider genau falsch rum. Wenn du es schaffen sollst, dein Zebra zu ein schwarzes Tier mit weißen Streifen. Die Streifen sind wie ein Fingerabdruck. Jedes Tier hat sein eigenes Muster. Und die Kinder und die Eltern können sich anhand des Streifenmusters wiederfinden. Das zweite ist die CC-Fliege, so ein kleines gut saugendes Insektenart. Diese Mendes-Antilopes werdet ihr auf der ganzen Welt auf ungefähr 1000 Stück finden. Mehr gibt es leider nicht. Das sind die Giraffes wieder, als wir zum Ende kommen. So, da kann man auch sehr schön sehen, das Tier, was da ist. Ja, auf der rechten Seite, da seht ihr dann gleich nochmal so ein Gestell. Und right down here at the end of the safari now, so I show you this, old steam trains, Bart Wow. Well, after just over an hour, we've come off our coast trip. How did you enjoy that, Charlotte? I actually really enjoyed that. I think the areas for the animals was fantastic, how it sort of changes throughout the experience for the animals. I just think the spaces was great. There was loads of variety. I loved it. Yeah, it was really nice. And that's the thing with the safari park. I always prefer them over zoos. I really like how they've got the big open areas and it's like the terrain that was changing, wasn't it? Like you yeah, had the sand, like the grass, depending on where water, we were. It like changed throughout the experience. Yeah, it was great. And I tell you what as well, the coast driver, he was really good. He was stopping in the best places that he could do. Worth pointing out in some areas, he had his own lane to go past the traffic. If we was doing that, uh, queuing in the traffic, we could, could have been maybe three hours, I think, like, in there. It's nearly 12 o'clock and people are still like queuing to get in. It's so yeah, busy. It's really busy. That's the key to this place. If you're coming to Serengeti Park, come, come down here really early. Um, I mean, you're never going to get as good of an experience when you go on the coach as you are going through in your own vehicle, but I didn't want to take my own hire car through. No, exactly. Uh, yeah, if it was my own car, I wouldn't have minded, but a hire car it's wasn't. it's one of them where, because there's so much traffic, you'd just be constantly stop-starting, whereas at least if you're on the bus, it's moving freely. There's, there's pros and cons to it. Obviously, if you're in your own vehicle, you can pull up where you want to and stay for as long as you want, but he did do the best he could on there. Um, and also, as well, it's just one of them that you get the facts as well if you're on the coach like that. I mean, that, we didn't you? really know what was going on. No. He was very informative. Yeah. Yeah, it was. It was fantastic. I did really enjoy it. It was quite quirky going on the number 32 or whatever it is. The number two bus just there to Skegness. Yeah, that was good. I really enjoyed it. But yeah, if you are coming down here and wanting to get the bus, they do have a lot of them. As you can see, there's a big queue over there where we got on. It's all the way back down here now. So definitely arriving early is the key. Anyway, it's lunchtime now. We're going to find something to eat. Lovely blue sky today. And we've got loads of rides and attractions to get on and also as well, more animals to see. They've also got a lot of accommodation here as well. Lots of safari lodges. And yeah, it does remind me a lot of the West Midland Safari Park that we have back in the UK. And yeah, we're making our way now down into this rides area. And in fact, there is a map just over here. So we'll just show you that. Oh my God, look at the size of this place. Bear in mind, this doesn't really feature the safari because that's just off the map at the top. 
wow it is massive so we're here at the entrance as you can see you've got the big lake over there um, all down here as well they've got like some different boat attractions on these lakes which look really good i don't know if we're going to get everything in because it is probably going to be really busy down here but we've got a couple of coasters there's a little spinning coaster there's some flat rise there's a top spin there there's a log flume down here they're actually building a new coaster at the moment so we'll have a look at that uh, there's a gyro swing down here as well and loads of accommodation look at all them lodges at the top there you got all these ones down here at the side the jambo lodges over in that area it's crazy like this place is massive that was about a two minute walk straight down on the undercovered walkway and yeah you got a big restaurant over there very pretty really well finished off place yeah i think it's really nice there's a lot going on yeah there's quite a lot of rides here to see double deck carousel which is there and i've just heard a coaster running around there is two operational codes at the moment they're building another one and yeah i believe they've got a zero tivoli in storage according to the roller coaster database but there. yeah there's part of it over here which i've just seen so that looks pretty cool let's have a look oh look at this so yeah this coaster opened in 2020 in fact both the coasts they've got here now both opened that year and it's batukai racer is that how i'm pronouncing it it's another one where i'll always try for you and yeah i reckon this replaced the zero tivoli because according to rcdb it was in storage i reckon that's what they mean here by in storage it obviously used to operate on this site and then yeah now as you can see it's a photo of with two dummies in the front i do like how they've kept this out there it probably came to the end of its life i'd imagine so they kept a bit of the track uh, and then the train which is a big frog as you can see we were going to get some food straight away but we thought actually with it looking like it's going to get really busy let's get on this coaster now uh, so we've got this and then a small little spinning coaster to get in um, um, so yeah, let's go and give this a ride. I reckon we might be able to POV here. We'll find out. POVs are permitted. Hey, look at the banging on this down here. Oh my God. Ah, oh, yeah. So that's going to be opening very soon. We'll take a little look at that. But they certainly need it. More expansion here with the crowds that they get. Like I say, they're still queuing in like two hours after it opened. I like how all the supports are painted with all the leaves on. Very slow Very start with this one. <laughs> oh my god. Is this the speed we're going up the lifter all the way up? Oh blimey. <laughs> Look how close you get to the track here. It's a good, good job it's not a two train service, isn't it? You get a bit close. <laughs> we made the right decision coming on this. We did, yeah. It's going to be a, a busy queue for this one later. There's the big wheel. Oh. I love coming places for the first time, it's always the mystery. Well, make sure you check out our travel vlog, Hansa Park and also Hyder Park. There's the log flume over there, that's operating. New coaster. Oh, right. oh. <laughs> oh. Here's me thinking it's a family ride, that was intense, here we go. Oh, oh. oh wow. <laughs> this is wild. Look at this helix coming up, here we go. Helix, helix. Intense. I was not expecting that. We got some good G's. Look at the banking on that. Blimey. That was pretty good, that was. I wonder if we go around again or if it's one lap. It's so slow at going up the lift and coming in, but it really builds up the speed throughout. Blimey. Well, that was pretty wild, wasn't it? I oh don't my god. You know what's quite just <laughs> happened on there. Manufactured by Technical Park as well. Not done many of their coasters. Yeah, it was quite unique. Uh, I wouldn't say it was anything amazing with the speed of the lift hill, but then when we got going, it was all right. It had some good force to it. That was absolutely crazy, that was. It looks like um, it's going to be a little family coaster from off ride, but when you get on it, it rides like a big thrill coaster. Yeah, it was pretty good, that was. I enjoyed it oh yes this is what i'm talking about it looks like they've got some really unique stuff here we got some jet boats hey and they're standing up on there i'm sure they are that looks like fun are you going to be doing that charlotte oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> and just over here i don't know what it is at first i thought it was a play area but yeah it's called sky loop and yeah literally you go up to the top and it looks like some sort of ride system up there i don't know is it a robo arm or something maybe it comes off the side of the building we're going to go and find out yeah this looks very unique that's why i love coming to places for the first time and we saw that this place looked like it had some really quirky bits so yeah let's go and have a look at this big skull out the front and yeah i don't know right up to the top <laughs> it starts off a bit like a fun house here i thought it looked like one from the outside all these different tunnels. Strobe warning. Strobe warning. Okay, flashing lights, flashing lights. 
Oi! <lacht> Voll der Haus! <lacht> Na, ihr Kunstbanausen! Wer hinter Gietern steht, darfst du nicht im Auge des betrachten! What is going on in here? Like, we got a sink just over on the right hand side. All these quirky lights. We're gradually climbing upstairs, making our way higher and higher. Well, we've made it up here to the top, and look at the view. It's a very pretty park. There's the Ferris wheel, a few of the flats off to the left, and that new coast of the building just over there. There's a drop tower in the distance. This place is a lot bigger than what I was expecting. It's huge. I can't believe it. We've climbed all the way up here, and it's not open. It is flashing down at the bottom, all the lights on it. But yeah, there you go. It's just sat here. Maybe it'll be open later. Oh, that's a shame. We walked all the way up here for nothing. We got some good views though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, what a shame. I don't know, it looks like it goes off, spins upside down. I'm really not too sure. Oh, it's got over the shoulder of his train, so I reckon it goes upside down. So we went and found a member of staff and it's actually open. I've just sent Sean on this one because I don't have a clue what it does and I'm a bit nervous, so I'm going to film him off-ride and show you what it's like. So he's moving out. Oh, he's spinning round. So the operator's just told me that first we tilt a little bit, and then go around and do a full loop, <laughs> which is quite interesting. There's the view. I've never done one quite like this before. That's it, we're coming back in. What a very strange contraption. <laughs> oh, does it? Full turn. What a funny ride. Here we go, so he's off again and it should tilt all the way around this time. One inversion, here we go. This time with the full looping, this is very unique. <laughs> what is going on? Oh my God, it's really high. <laughs> there we go. Very unique attraction, oh my God, sliding out my teeth. <laughs> I felt very sketchy, not gonna lie. Oh, it's quite slow. And there we go. There we go, just come off Skyloop. And yeah, it felt a little bit dodgy that day. I think because of how slow it was going round. And yeah, the restraint wasn't really that tight either. I was sliding a lot in the seat just oh. there. Um, but yeah, it was quite good. You know, it was worth going on. It wasn't intense or anything. It was more just weird. It was very it, slow. It was very high up. I mean, you've got to be talking nearly 100 foot, I reckon, on that. And yeah, just going so slow. Yeah, it was something a bit different. Anyway, up next, we go on this, oh, are you coming on? I'm not too sure. Oh, these look pretty good, like speedboats just here. They've got some very unique stuff at this park. It reminds me in a very weird way of Movie Land Park in Italy, what we did last year. How it's got this, it's just got some quirky stuff here. So yeah, let's go and get on. So it's called the Splash Safari, this one. Charlotte's made the decision not to come on. Well, yeah, she's not a big fan of water. And yeah, it's probably best that she doesn't with that. Um, so here we go, I'll take you on, Splash Safari. Let's go and give it a go. Here we go then, waited about 25 minutes there, but they have got three boats on, which is good. And a hair on the front, <laughs> looking forward to this. Here we go. <laughs> I do love a good speed boat. Hey. <laughs> the captain's at the back of this one. It's like I'm steering here in the front. Oh my God. No seat belts or anything. <laughs> no restraints, but we have got live vests on. I've got some lobsters over there. And there's that new coast of the building at the moment. <laughs> yeah, at least you got three boats on for throughput. Here we go, speeding up again now. Hey, <laughs> some of the other rides around there. Oh, this is great. Lovely on a nice day like this. Oh, wow. Ah, <laughs> this is thrilling. Hey. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, it's lush. Woo! Oh! <laughs> you get them really nice, chilled out, relaxing parts. And then we get speeded up. <laughs> really good fun. Yeah, you're not allowed to hold anything in your hands. 
Oh, other than the bar. <laughs> wow. Oh, straight in. There's the top spin. <laughs> I've not got wet on here though. Woo! <laughs> a little bit of a sprinkle. It's a great cycle. Whoa, a bit of air time then. Well worth waiting for. Serengeti Park, what a unique experience and a bonus part for the trip. I'm spinning around. Oh, we're off again. <laughs> They tilt them out a lot of these things, don't they? Oh! <laughs> yeah, I don't think Charlotte would like this. Just in case she did fall in. But we have got live vests on. Oh, that was great. Really enjoyed that. Well, it was well worth the wait, in my opinion. It's good how they've got three boats on as well, instead of just one, as it would take ages. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I like as well how it wasn't just fast all the way. Slowed you right down, taking the scenery, and then vroom, we're off. I don't think you'd like that though. No, far, that's why I gave it a miss. Yeah, they tilted quite a bit, you know. Oh, I see. Uh, but yeah, it was really good. I enjoyed it, and the lovely sunshine as well. Makes me want to do some more water sports, actually. It was really good. You got loads of rides then here at Serengeti Park. Yeah, just over here, it's like the Hus Corner. You've got the break dance and also the top spin there. And that's the thing, Hus are located in Bremen, which is not too far away from here at all. It's probably why you see a lot of break dances and a lot of top spins, and there's generally Hus attractions around here. We'll yeah, probably give these a go later on, but we'll prioritize some of the more unique things um, that you don't normally get, such as them boats, and there's a train to go on, which looks really good. We've got more animals to see, and there's actually a safari ride that we've got to do. Looks a little bit like Kilimanjaro Safari. We've got to do that. We saw it as we was going round on our coach earlier. Yeah, and you get like special effects as well, like you go round. Yeah, it looks quite unique. So I'd rather prioritise those and then do these flats later if we get chance. Here's a look then at Gozimbo, which is the new ride opening soon here. And I'll tell you what, it looks very unique. It's built by Ride Engineers Switzerland. And yeah, with this, it's going to be an inverted coaster. And it looks quite good, actually. Layout looks really interesting there. Yeah, the track's still not finished yet. As you can see, they've got what looks to be the station, I think, to go in there. But yeah, it's like air power, so that's why there's not a lift deal. Like, it looks very unique, this. So yeah, the station's obviously just going to be here. And then, yeah, it kind of, it's a power coaster, in fact, an inverted power coaster. But yeah, it looks very good. Shame that it's not open, but we didn't even think we were going to be coming here. This time yesterday, we didn't know we were coming, so it's been a bit of a last minute one. Oh, they must be yeah, it. it's something to come back for. No, no, that, that's this. Oh, that's Yeah, yeah, that, that's this ride, yeah. Oh. There you go. Yeah, that is what, what it is. So you sit like this and it kind of powers you round on there. Cool, yeah, yeah, it's not a, a, a Gersar Skyfly. Oh, no, was. no, that, 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 that's the coaster. That's what oh, you sit wow. on. Yeah, so it's like inverted and yeah, it looks really unique. So this is one to come back for in the future. But if you are going to Hansa Park and Hyder Park, this is very close. In fact, we're less than 30 minutes away from uh, Hyder Park. So yeah, it's worth coming in. This would be quite a unique cred to get when it opens later on this year. Right next door then, we've got Makora, which is a log flume. And yeah, I thought, oh, we're going to have a look, see how big the queue is. Well, I haven't actually got a proper queue line. The station's literally just here. And it's just these people. So maybe about 10 minutes or so, and we'll be on. Yeah, straight into the station on the boats. No zigzag up and down or anything. And we're off. We waited about 10 minutes there. Gorgeous day, though, to be here. Bonus part for the trip. But yeah, we'll definitely come back here in the future, though, for that going to be a bit of a capacity nightmare because it is a very busy place this but look at the I've got quite a lot of attractions but I feel like maybe a higher capacity coaster may have been a better option for them but yeah we're off looks like we joined the queue for this just at the right time as well it's got busy two drops by the looks of it one small one big but we don't know what's hiding behind these trees it could be like chapas for all we know right. <laughs> you're right about that Hey. Could have backwards drops, turntables, special FX, who knows? Oh, actually, it does look quite long round here. Just a small one. Sometimes these ones get you really wet. Here we go. Ah. <laughs> oh, not too bad. How are we in the back, Charlotte? To be honest, it's bigger than I thought. Like, at first, it looked like it could have been a one drop special, but yeah, we got a bit of meandering around here as well before we head down 
that big drop but yeah it's free parking if you are coming here and i did really enjoy the safari it was good at first a lot of the animals were on the left hand side i thought i'm not really seeing much from my window but in the end quite a lot was on the right too it's one of them you don't really know but yeah, it's quite a well themed park they got a little pirate ship down there there's a big pirate ship a gyro swing bigfoot safari yeah that looks pretty good monster truck ride down here at the back oh the big pirate ship's missing down there by the looks of it that's a bit weird it's got monkeys hanging from it but it's one of them when you come somewhere like this and when it's busy and you've got limited time you've got to prioritize things we thought we'll come on this because it's quite unique aren't they you know, different layout log flumes and stuff there's the jeep hey <laughs> park down there yeah, and they've got a lot of accommodation here. Lots of lodges, some looking over the animals and others not. It's a very picturesque park. Windmill, and let's go. Woo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> nice day for it. Are we okay in the back? Oh, it's a light sprinkle. That was good. I quite enjoyed that. It's not really themed around. The ride but it's nicely landscaped with all the trees well the log flume was pretty good there i enjoyed that and yeah here's a look over at the pendulum ride that they've got and he's got a little hat on it's got a roof how funny is that this is cumba cumba twister the full name for this down here it looks pretty quiet so may as well give this a go whilst we're here there's leo the lion the mascot in the middle and yeah let's go and give cumba a ride looks like there used to be an old train ride around here like an abandoned train track. They have got the actual train here somewhere. And there's another speedboat over there, which is called Black Mamba. It's not an inverted coaster at Fantasyland. <laughs> yeah, this one's interesting. Looks like it might have a bit of force though. Here we go then, walk straight on. That's the thing, we've got a lot of rides here, which is fantastic. Oh, I can see the old pirate ship just over there in the middle. Yeah, I mentioned how they've got a small one now, but they used to have a bigger one by the looks of it. And yeah, you can just see it as a piece of theming over at the side. Bit of a slow one to get going this, but there we go. <laughs> We're into it. Yeah, I don't know if you'll see very well from on here. Looks like, like it's by one of them other boat attractions. Yeah, they've got two other different boat rides down here. I was trying to find the goats, which is somewhere around here. Hey! Now there's a look at that pirate ship. <laughs> oh, I can see the petting zoo it's just at the back here. Oh, it's pretty good. Whee. Took a while to get going, didn't it? Well, we're an hour in action. Woo. And just over a month to go until our big USA road trip, which is going to be absolutely awesome. So stay tuned for that. Whee. Oh, this is great. Woo. Very forceful, this! Hey. <laughs> a cracking ride! Oh, there's loads of goats over there. Charlotte is going to be happy. Let's go and see them. That was really good fun. You missed out there, Charlotte. I like the little hat over <laughs> Yeah, it's quite funny, that is. It's good when it's sunny, though. It stops you from uh, getting sunburned exactly. on there, right? Like. Uh, anyway, you're going to love around this corner, Charlotte. I've just oh, seen there's lots of goats around here. Oh, I'm really excited. Yeah, loads of goats. This is where I've built it up and they've all gone in now. But from on there, I saw a lot of goats. Didn't you all back me up, viewers, in the POV? Uh, let's head around here and have a look. Hey, here we go. I told you, you're going to love this. Oh, this is why we came, really, just so Charlotte can see the goats. There's a lot in here, loads of goats. Welcome to Goat Park Worldwide here in Germany. Oh, look at these babies. See, I told you it wouldn't disappoint, Charlotte. I told you, you're going to be surrounded by goats today and here they all are. Hello. They're all coming in for you. Oh, gorgeous. Look at all these goats, we've got alpacas in here as well. Oh, I think I think we know what we need now, Charlotte, with all these goats around a certain uh, 
Hello. Hello. so cute. Oh, lovely. Look at this whole goat's area. This has got to be the best goat's area I think we've ever seen. Serengeti Park. Look at this. They've got a massive space all the way down there. And all these lovely goats. Look at them all. They're all following Charlotte. Oh uh, yeah, <laughs> I think they like the yellow coat maybe. Look at them all, so many goats. Oh, Charlotte's having cuddles. Oh, so, so cute. Oh, Charlotte has waited for this moment for years. Oh my God. And there they are, one happy goat family. Oh. How are you feeling Charlotte after that? My whole life. <laughs> has been made for that moment. I have waited years to hold small baby goat and today was the day. We've been looking for places where you can do it as well, haven't oh, we, back yeah, home and it's not... Today was the day. He was just so happy and he fell asleep. And it was unexpected as well. We knew they had a goat area, but not like that. that. I loved Got it. Got some lovely photos of you as well, oh, Charlotte. So oh. Lots of smaller attractions here as well. You've got three small kids flat rides all in this area, just round the back of where that new coast is going to be. And here's a look at Black Mamba, which is another little boat ride that they've got down here as well, another speedboat. Spinning Dragon ride just round this area. And yeah, there's the mini banana pirate ship. And there's where the big pirate ship was. You can see the structure. And there's the actual ship over there in the middle. Right there, it's shipwrecked. <laughs> Very pretty area around here. If we knew it was going to be this good here, we'd have added it to the itinerary definitely before we even came out on the trip. Like, I had no idea they had this many rides. It's a lovely area. I do like that fountain. Spurting about a bit, isn't it? Yeah, this drop tower looks pretty good over here, so give that a go. And Bigfoot Safari, which are monster trucks that they've got. See so yeah, what they've actually done by the looks of Oh, that looks great. What they've actually done is took the pirate ship bottom out and then the monster truck looks like it goes underneath it and they've hung all these monkeys up that looks really good have you ever been on a monster truck charlotte yeah, I haven't before. i've been on one at cedar point a few years ago and it was good fun yeah maybe do that they've got a few trucks though something i didn't think i'd be seeing today is a monster truck driving through an old pirate ship but there you go that's why i love coming to these sort of places yeah this looks really forceful charlotte's come on oh, no. i think this is going to be really forceful for watching it off-road <laughs> Hey! Oh, it is good. Hey! <laughs> it's powerful, this is. Yeah, it's so funny what they've done with that old pirate ship. Yeah, we'll go on. Oh, we're from the UK, from England. Okay. Yeah. Yeah! Oh, awesome. Oh! It's some good airtime. Yeah, it's great. Okay, it's nice. Yeah, it is. Nice day. Yeah, we'll go on the monster trucks if it's not too busy. Oh! oh there's them planes over there. Oh! It's very forceful. Yes. Like the brakes at the bottom. <laughs> got some good stuff today. And Charlotte's held the goat, which is really good. Oh, date mate. Three, two, one. Oh! <laughs> That was a pretty good tower, very forceful, wasn't it? Oh my god, that was so forceful. It's weird because you go on something like that, you don't think it's going to offer much, but actually, that was more forceful than some of the like 200 foot towers I've been that in was places. More forceful, like Highlander and stuff. Yeah, crazy, that's like, ridiculous. Scary. It's only like, what, 30, 40 foot tall, if that? But yeah, we're going to have a look at Bigfoot Safari here now. Hey, it looks maybe like two trucks wait, so we'll go on. Bigfoot Safari just here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at this. Through the pirate ship. We waited only five minutes. There's the drop tower. Watch out for the monkeys. Monster truck. I do love a part when it has unique stuff like this. So noisy, they smell all the fumes. Oh, I love it. Over the crash cars. Ah! <laughs> Good suspension. Monster <laughs> trail. I 
How good was that? It was quite a short ride, but I enjoyed it I still. You did a monster truck. Yeah, that's fantastic. That was and obviously they've replaced that pirate ship over there with a brand new one. Yeah, this looks great, fresh out of the factory, I reckon, or at least maybe refurbished, but I don't know, looking at all the mechanics, yeah, it looks brand new, so this will be opening soon here as well. It's a bit like Mr. Monkey's uh, banana ride at Thorpe Park. You've also got a dinosaur walkthrough over here as well. Look at this. This is very nice. I don't know if any of them are animatronics or not. Well, this is brilliant. Ice Age. Very similar to Westman Safari Park, this. A woolly mammoth, just that. You can tell a lot of this is brand new stuff. They're obviously investing a lot of money here. It's a park to watch. It took us by surprise today. Yeah, a couple of them are basic animatronics as well. Very nice walk through there, and yeah, we're actually going to go for a ride on the train just here now. It's like quite a long layout. So we'll tell you one with a POV on this. Lots of pops today. I do love a good train, and from the map, it looks like it's going to be quite a long one. Don't know how many stations or anything. There's that portable drop tower. Oh, it was good. That was. Shot some loads of drop towers these past few days. Choo choo. Yeah, and there's a look at Black Mamba, the boat ride out there. It's got a bit of a queue, that one, like the one that I did earlier on. Slightly different ride experience, but thought we'll prioritise getting on some other things, such as this train. And we're going to head down to that safari ride, which has got special effects, and check that out next. And there's the abandoned pirate ship, but at least they've kept it for thieving. slow train but it's very scenic and yeah heading round past the car park here as well it seems like the car park they've got all the way around the edge of the whole site and yeah there's still people coming off the safari now we've only got a couple of hours to get things in it's at least a full day park this if you wanted to do it chilled out and if it was really busy then yeah maybe even two days we've already got a lot of accommodation it seems like they've got more under construction over there as well it looks more like glamping in fact those ones They've got so much here, it's a much bigger part than we were expecting. And yeah, here's a look at the little SPF spinning car that they've got down here. Look at that big giraffe there. Look at them bikes yeah. they've got, they're funny Hey, ones. oh we like those funny bikes. Big giraffe play area. Oh, look at these little cute rides over here. There you go. Just self-operated. How cool is that? you got a teacup there. Is that self-operated as well? I'm not too sure. Yeah, that is. Yeah, they just stop and then on you get. Same with the mini way swinger there is down there. Is the teacups the same as well? Surely not. Looks like it is. Or maybe there's is the one up. Ah, there we go. There's just one up sat in that booth. And then she's obviously stopping and starting all, well, oh, is it five rides? One, two, three, four, five rides in the area. Yeah, and she's just controlling it all from in there. Six, that's really interesting, that. So we're just following these signs now down to the safari tour. Looks very good. It's a bit like Kilimanjaro safaris, but with some special effects on here. Lovely restaurant there overlooking the water and more accommodation down there too. Look at these monkeys over here. One's escaped, I think. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> There they are. And have a look. Here we go. Woo! Waited about 15 minutes, and yeah, there's at least three trucks on, which is good. We had to come out here, Smile. We had a good day up this year, yeah, no? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Hey, hey. So yeah, literally heading heading around the safari where we did earlier on. But this time, a bit of off roading. <laughs> You've got me all backwards. <laughs> I love this. Yeah, they built in these little different tracks, different to the main one where you drive through. 
Du, das ist der Höhepunkt unserer Tour. 6 Mal. Oh mein Gott, aber die hat Ziegen auch gleich wieder. Wunderbar. <lacht> no seat balls or anything. Ja, es passt aber in der Safari. Ich habe ja auf der rechten Seite sehen, wie er da bewegt wird. Ja, es geht. Für den Krumm sind eh ein Antilope. Die größte Antilope, die es gibt. 850 Kilogramm können die schwer werden. Man springt auf den Stand 2 Meter hoch. Und hier, die Damen und Kinder im Fahrzeug. Guck mal, wir haben das letzte Einhorn hier. Da ist es. Blimey, it gets going fast there. See, that's the coach. Hello, everyone. <laughs> So, und dann sind wir auch. Oh, Giraffe! Oh, wow! Wow! Nice and close to him. Look at the size of him. Towering over that car. Beautiful animals. Oh, und weiter on. geht's hier. Gashörner. Die großen, die wir sehen, sind Weibchen. Haben Gewicht zu zwei. Oh Mann, oh Mann. I don't know where we're going here, but it's the wilderness. Das sieht verdächtig aus hier vorne. Die halten hier mal an. Oh ja. Oh ja. Oh. <lacht> oh, da sind wir. Ostasiatische Schienenlöwen. Wunderschöne Exemplare. Hey. Das ist mit leuchtenden Augen. Guck mal, da kommen sie auch schon. Das ist geil. Einer ist unter Bus. Wir haben die Rickety Suspension Brace, like Kilimanjaro. Ja, aber die sind so ein Angler. Der Captain hat aufgebaut. Er ist verschwunden. Keine Ahnung, oder er ist. More accommodation. Big result. Wir fahren jetzt zu Bertha. Bertha ist ein bisschen sauer. Der Mann ist weggelaufen. Das ist ein bisschen böser Bernd. Moin Bernd! Oh, classic scene there from the Jungle Cruise at the Disney Parks. Okay, naja, well, der ist beschäftigt. Lass mich hier mal in Ruhe. Dann müsst ihr gleich mal winken. Oh, Snake! Naja, eins mehr her, hallo! Oh. Einmal winken bitte. Oh, I love the snake. Schneller, gib dir Mühe. Mach mal so. Komm, gib dir Mühe. Das hilft schon nicht. So. Zack! Ach, die Rache dafür. Ja. Reihe 3, hallo! <lacht> Einmal winken. Hallo, könnten Sie mir vielleicht bitte helfen? Achten Sie einfach nicht auf den da. Er wollte hier auf alles sprechen. Aber, aber ich, 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 äh Du brauchst hier nicht so zu schreien. Du wolltest unsere Eier klauen. Ja. 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 Wollen wir den Herrn mitnehmen oder nicht? Hier lassen? Na gut, lassen wir ihn hier, alles klar. Ah, weiter, ne? Oh! Oh! Oh, Spray! Oh, sorry, war die abgelegt. Das tut mir aber leid hier. Uh oh, he's got lost. <laughs> this is brilliant. I love this. Oh oh. Uh, oh no. So. Oh. <laughs> oh, it's bumpy. Oh. <laughs> First time I've had all day. Oh my god. Angenehm hier, ne? So. 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 Digga, der Mittagspause. Eine halbe Stunde bin ich wieder da, ne? Nein, Quatsch, war mir nicht. Nein, das tut mir leid, ja? Hallo, Dumbo. Hallo, was ist denn da? Nein, oh mein Gott! Upsi. Achso, die Mitte. Ich hab die Mitte vergessen, warte. Moment, Moment, Moment. Gott! Das sieht hin. Warte, noch ein bisschen besser. So, jetzt ist gut. Jetzt ist gut. Ciao, Charlotte, ich kann gehen. Dumbo, bist du soweit? Alles klar. Dann ab. This is quite something, man. What a unique ride. This is the best ride of the day. Fire, I reckon. I can see gas. Hey! There's a bit of cricket over there. Oh, 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 I just got soaked. So I don't know here. Charlotte's just got wet. Oh, there's a massive explosion. And that's the end of the ride. Oh, that was fantastic. 
Well, that was absolutely incredible. By far my favourite ride here at Serengeti Park. I loved that so much. Like a 20 minute long experience, a mix of animals and animatronics, and I am soaked. It was a mix between likes of the Jungle Cruise that you can find at the Disney parks, along with that Kilimanjaro Safari at Animal Kingdom, also at Disney, and a bit like Safari back at Chesterton. It was like the best of all three, but I thought that was amazing. Like there was so much going on with the real animals and the effects, the fire, the animatronics, some really good jokes, some airtime on there. I, just, it was great. I wasn't expecting it to be that good. No, like, that was amazing. I saw a few promo shots of it and thought we've got to prioritise getting I'm on so that. Glad that we did. Yeah, because it's clear we're not going to get everything in today. We have not got time to do some of these other flats and stuff because you know it's nearly the end of the day. But uh, yeah, that was amazing. If you come into this park, do not uh, miss don't that. miss it. And also, it's worth coming to this park just for that ride it alone. Was fantastic. It was brilliant. That was really enjoyed it. Well, they got a massive suspension bridge next door here. There we go. How wobbly is it? Oh, quite wobbly. <laughs> yeah, and this leads all the way out to look over the safari. There you go. So yeah, that's the entrance where we first came in. There's that train from earlier on at the side. Yeah, look at this. In the trees. I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here. Oh, I've not seen you for three weeks. Yes, yeah. so that's it. Stand on the star for me for your photos. Pyro's going off. And this is the view that you get over here at the end, looking out over the beautiful giraffes. Really nice. Even this platform wobbles a bit down here too. <laughs> oh, it was fantastic, really enjoyed that safari tour. And yeah, we're going on Safari Blitz Kids just here. One of the most unique attractions we've done to one of the most standard. Yeah, you find these around in a lot of places, but still a good little family coaster, small little spinner. How many laps are we going to get around on here? We'll find out. Got to wait a couple of cycles and we'll be on. We've waited about 10 minutes. And we're off. Hey, excited for this, Charlotte? Yeah. <laughs> Just a standard ride. I'm amazed by them flat rides over there, to be honest. How they're all operated by one person. Uh, that's a way to say staffing costs. Oh, wow. Quite good on the back. It all depends how much weight you've got on the other side with these. She got both the creds. We'll be back in the future though, and we'll come and give that a new coaster a ride. Whee! Quite good down the back actually. Yeah. It's where you want to be at the back. How many laps we get in? This is on to number three. I like how there's an elephant in there, in the back of a truck. Very busy though here, but we got loads in. Whee! I think we're going to end with a ride on the big wheel because we'll get a good aerial view looking over the park. But yeah, not enough time. Like, still a few flights and stuff and the other boat rides. Definitely a two-day park, especially if it's busy. Maybe stay over in the future. We're off again. <laughs> I'm actually quite dizzy. We're getting a, a good, good spin. spin Pretty good. Oh, hey. What a whippersnapper. That's it. Fantastic. Oh, no. oh my god. Lock number five in, I think. Yeah, I'm sure we have, yeah. Maybe he knows us. <laughs> Fantastic. That's it, slowing down. Nice little family coaster just there. And yeah, we're going to end our day with a ride here on the big wheel. Looks very picturesque with the blue sky there behind it. And we'll get a nice aerial view over the park and the surrounding area. What a brilliant day. We waited about 10 minutes there for the big wheel. The queue looked massive actually, but it wasn't too bad. Yeah, there's one of the other boats that they've got over there. Blimey, look at those. They've got so much here, it's practically impossible to put everything into one day. It's like those boats that you go into the alligators on. Yeah, like in Florida and yeah, stuff. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I've never done that, but yeah, it looks similar. Yeah, we'll definitely come back here in the future. New coast to come back for that literally is right there and it's going to be opening very soon. So we'll head back for that. And uh, yeah, overall, it's just been a really nice park day. We've got the top spin over there, the break dance. Yeah, there's so many attractions at this fantastic park. Can't believe how low the sides are on here. You wouldn't be allowed this back home, would I've you? I've never seen other sides <laughs> this low before. I've done one like this abroad somewhere where you would not get this. Like, look at that, crazy. Yeah, and there's a view over that new coast, and now we're a bit higher up. See, so yeah, it's the station to go in. You can see the structure starting to go in for that. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be very long, but still, it's a new coaster investment for this park. 
a look at some of the lodges just down the back there as well just in the back of them flats crazy love it noisy isn't it that <laughs> I'm not too sure what this is down here. It looks like it used to be an old boat ride here. Can't see it in action now, but yeah, you've got like Jungle Cruise style props round at the side. Blimey, that is noisy. I know it's coming round just here, whatever it is. I said there's just literally so much here to get in. You don't realize till you come on here. Ah, see, so it's not a different ride. Yeah, it's all part of the same thing just over here. Yeah, I had no idea it went all down this bit first too. Something else to come back for in the future. We've not got time today, unfortunately. ride there on the big wheel to end our visit here to Serengeti Park and the final vlog from our trip here to Germany as well. Be sure to check out the videos if you haven't already seen them. Yeah we've got a full playlist and it's been absolutely fantastic and what a nice surprise ending to the trip today. We nearly didn't come like we were planning on going to the dungeon in Hamburg and that was it but no we thought let's come and check this park out and I am so pleased that we did. What they've got here is amazing it really is. Like for what's included in the ticket price I think it's an absolute bargain there's so many attractions for you to do yeah there is there's so much here to see and as much as you look at the initial ticket price i think it was what did i say 45, 45 yeah 45 50 you think oh my god it is quite expensive but what you get in here is great because there's unique attractions things like the boats the monster trucks some really weird and unique wacky rides and of course the animal experiences are great i loved the safari tour that we went on that uh, i thought that was amazing uh, it's probably my favorite kind of safari tour and i'd say this is actually my favorite safari park that i've ever been to i really like We've just had such a good day, but my highlight of today was holding that lovely baby goat. Oh, I made it for you, oh, didn't it, it as lovely. well? I think the whole place is great. The accommodation looks fantastic. It's definitely somewhere we may look at staying in the future when we come back to this part of Germany and go to Heider Park and Hansa Park again, because they're very close, especially Heider. It's like half an hour down the road maximum from here. Um, so you can have this as a good base. So we may stay in the future. Oh, I'd like to stay, see what the accommodation is like. It does get very busy here though. So bear in mind, you need to get here before opening. We arrived about 9 30 they're already queuing up i'd say get here for my latest kind of 9 30 so you so can busy. get in that queue nice and early get the safari done and then of course enjoy the rest of the park we've not had time to see everything today so it's a good opportunity to come back in the future for yes, us definitely. we've got a new coaster as well that they're building and in my opinion i think in the next couple of years we're going to see this place really expand possibly even a major coaster there coming may even here be a lot more new stuff even when we come in the future yeah i'm sure they will you can tell a lot of the parts really new very fresh got a lot of lots space. of investment going in Can't wait to see where Serengeti Park goes in the future. Uh, well that brings us to the end of our trip here to Germany. We've got lots more coming up now we're into May here on Theme Park Worldwide and then of course coming up next month our huge USA road trip Ooh, which is going to be absolutely amazing. Lots to stay tuned for here on the channel but from Germany that leaves us with one final thing to say. Get, Get out there and keep, keep on, on riding. riding. We'll see you back in the UK.